I got money over here. Holy hell. Hey, good. Yeah, I know why it's here. Anyway, today I'm going to do a quick video because I haven't showed any different beers for a bit. And I wanted to show three of them today because I love beer and you all love beer. And you know something they said, like there was some article. They researched the most commonly Googled words about a country and they said Serbia was beer. Uh, so I've got a bunch of these. I try to show all the beers that are available here. I'm not a dumb fuck, okay? I know a lot of these are not Serbian, but they're, uh, they're available here in Serbia, okay? And I didn't see them in some other places, so I like to show them. If you don't want to watch it, mrsh, okay? Anyway, today I'm going to start out here. I've already drank this one. Stella Artois is a Belgian beer uh, from Belgium. Actually, this one is Belgian also. So Belgium is good for beer. I was in Belgium. I was in Brussels. Beautiful, beautiful place. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful place. Great beer in Belgium. And Stella Artois is an expensive beer in the USA, but here it's actually pretty cheap and it's one of my favorite drinks. <coughs> when I go somewhere, I drink it first or Nixius Cotamno, the dark beer, because I like the taste of this beer. It, this is 105 dinara. Sometimes you can get it under 100 dinara, which is about a dollar uh, for a half liter uh, beer. A Nula Pet uh, beer. Silver can, pretty label. Nice, clean, simple, great beer. Okay? And Stella Artois, I can't sample it because there's just backwash in there and it's nasty. Okay? Next beer we've got here is the first brewery in Serbia it was actually owned by the Weifert family. And this gentleman right here is George Weifert, okay? You'll notice here it says W-E-I-F-E-R-T, Weifert. We would say maybe in English. He's German descent, but he was born in Panchevo, Serbia. Uh, and underneath Weifert, they've got it in Cyrilica, or Cyrillic writing. But you'll notice it's got a B. This is a W, and this looks like the Cyrillic uh, letter. But B in Cyrillic is V, it's V, because in Serbian language they do not have a W, so you don't say W, they have V, Weifert, V, I, F, R, T, Weifert is what they say, instead of Weifert, like in English, but this is George, and George used to be, he was the third president of the Serbian National Bank, he was a well-respected man, created the first brewery in all of Serbia, he was born in like 1830s, he died in, uh, when did he die? Like, early 1900s, I don't know when it was, but um, not important. He was a very well-respected man, a wealthy, wealthy man. He did a lot of charitable things for Serbia, and he also, he owned some mines in Bor. Bor is a big mining uh, place in eastern Serbia, very wealthy place here in Serbia. So he's a well-respected man, and he's actually right here. He's a, this is one of the one of my favorite bills in Serbia. I hate the 2,000 dinara note and the 5,000 because most places you go, they don't have change for them. So this is one of the ones that are used very, very common. Uh, it's worth about, this is worth, a, what, about $10 now. This is about a $10 bill in Serbia because the exchange rate is close. But it's got him on the back. They're sitting in his chair, and it's got him right here. Looks about the same as the picture they have on here, but that's Mr. Weifert. Um, what else about this? Pivo here, green can, kind of a cheesy, it's not very pretty, okay? And the taste of it, it's a light beer. It's Svetlo. I don't want to mix it with this one, but it's really, really light colored. The taste of it, it smells like a beer. The taste of it, no offense to you, Mr. Whiteford, I know you're a well-respected man, but the taste of the beer is not the best. It, this is about 80 dinara, okay? This one was about 100, which is about a dollar. This is about close to 75 cents for this beer, for a big one, same size. The alcohol in this one is 5%. The alcohol in this one is 5%, okay? But that one doesn't have a wang, razumish wang, like a overpowering sensation of taste that's not pleasant, usually. And I think they should make a better beer in honor of Mr. Weifert, because it's not very good. I don't really like it, and I don't like to insult it. Now I'm gonna feel like an asshole. It says here, that this is actually made in India, Serbia. 
Ingia is really close to Navisad. It's, it's on the Autoput uh, from Navisad to Belgrade, about halfway between. So anyway, this is it. Green can. Why? Not, I don't like it that much, but I drink it again in a heartbeat. This is a funny beer. This is another Belgian beer. I just told you earlier. It looks like, I don't know how to pronounce it because I don't speak uh, Belgian. What the fuck do they speak in Belgium? Is that Belgian language? Dutch? I don't know what they speak in Belgium. Fuck, I was in Belgium, but I don't know what the fucking language they speak. I think it's Belgian. Now I'm going to look like a total dumb fuck here. But we, <laughs> I was first introduced to this beer, Hogarden, uh, in, here in Navi Saad, one of my favorite places to go. Uh, number one in all of Navi Saad is Horos, the Nargilla Bar, but number two is the Red Cow Irish Pub. They sell this on draft there. A big hexagon shaped glass. A big one is 250 dinara is what it is. And this one was expensive too. I think it was about 180 dinara. So it's about $1.80. Maybe it was 200 I don't know. I feel bad. It was expensive though. And this is Nula Tri. It's a really small one, you can see. But this beer... <laughs> me and my friend, my Norwegian friend, my Syrian friend, and those other cats that I used to hang out with, uh, I still hang out with the, two of them, but some of the other ones I don't. Uh, anyhow, we, we went in there and they introduced me to this beer, and we, the way I remember it is ho, hoes in the garden, you know. I always think of a, a hoe in the garden, you know, there, there's two, two words for hoe in the USA, as you know, or in English. A hoe is short for whore, which is a kurva, or a slut, or a prostitute. Uh, and a hoe, H-O-E, is that device that you dig with in a garden. So you can look at it either way you want. You can look at a prostitute in the garden or the hoe that you actually use in the garden. But it looks like it says hoe garden, hoe garden, hoe in the garden, light blue can. It's kind of a pretty can. But the smell of this beer is beautiful, and I wish you could smell it. When you compare it, the smell of this one is just not special. This one is just not good. And this one here, sensational. This is pretty. Oh, makes me salivate like a freaking rabid bear, man. Oh, beautiful smell. It smells citrusy. It's like a fruit. This could be like an air freshener, really. This is a really, really good beer. Very citrusy. This is 4.9% alcohol in it. And Hogarden, this is no shit. You can look it up. It says this was founded in 1495. 1495 is 1492, supposedly, is what we learned. Columbus discovered America in 1492. This beer was made three years later, for fuck's sakes. 1495. So it better be a little bit better than Mr. Wiefert's beer, who didn't create it until the eight, late 1800s. But uh, Hogarden has been around for many, many years, centuries. And they did well. Smells beautiful. It's kind of, it's called like a white beer. It was purchased by Anheuser-Busch in the USA, the big American brewery. There's two big, the biggest American brew, breweries in the USA, the two of them. St. Louis, Missouri is home to Anheuser-Busch. Uh, and then in Milwaukee, Wisconsin is Miller Brewing Company is the other one, the two biggest ones. So one of our big companies owns uh, Hogarden now, unfortunately. But... It's kind of an orangey color. It gets an orangey tint and a milky kind of, a milky orange is kind of the color. It fizzes a little bit differently and the smell and the taste is beautiful. So easy to drink. Such a, got a slight sweetness to it, citrusy kick to it, smooth at the end. It goes down like a soft drink. Uh, you know, anyway, soft drink, you know what's funny in Serbia about soft drinks, a soft drink, what we call a soft drink in the USA is like a carbonized drink, but where I'm from, we say pop, that's what we call Coke, Pepsi, grape soda, any of that, it's pop, okay, I say soda, uh, and soda's used in the East Coast and stuff. We say, and then down south, sometimes they'll just say Coke. 
Coke can be a Pepsi, a grape, anything. It's, it's a carbonated soft drink, okay? But in the USA, we use pop, soda, and soft drink. But here in Serbia, I'll go somewhere and say, I want a soda. And here's soda. The only thing they use for soda is soda water. Okay, so you have to be really specific. You just have to say Pepsi or whatever here, you know, because you're not in Kansas anymore. But anyway, great, great, great beer. I bought this at this, and this was about, like I said, close to 200. It's about $2 for this tiny little can. This is about a dollar, 75 cents. And this one was about a dollar. And this is my, you know, if I had to pick, if I put these in a competition, this would be my competition. When you consider price, taste, pretty little can, simple, pretty, this is my favorite. This is number two, Mr. Hose in the Garden. Uh, because it's expensive, it's a, otherwise I would maybe put it first, but it's too expensive. I don't like to spend that much money on a beer. And this one is okay. Okay, for Serbian beer, it's not one of my favorites. And I like a lot of Serbian beer. I drink a lot of Serbian beer. Zajarčarsko, um, Jelenlav, uh, what else? Jagodinsko pivo, Valjevsko pivo, uh, and all of those. But this is not very, it's not the best. And it's kind of hard too when you're mixing them together while you're talking. But anyway, I bought these at Dis. And let me tell you a quick story before. I ramble too much, but I went to Dis today here in Navi Sad. I always put my headset in when I go into a supermarket because I don't like to talk to people. Sometimes people will see me, they recognize me, and somebody wants to talk, so I just act like I'm listening to music and I don't see them. Anyway, today on a Saturday to go to Dis is a big promotion day, I guess, because every goddamn aisle in that store have beautiful young ladies, a couple of beautiful young ladies, promoters that are trying to get you to buy a goddamn product, okay? Some of them have little free samples, some of them don't. I was there looking at the, at the toothpaste, I always look at the price and I try to find the cheapest goddamn thing that's in there. And I was looking at one and this girl comes over and I'm like, Ne razumem ništa, ja sam stranac. And she said, buy this one, I'm the promoter. And I was like, oh god, how do I say no? <laughs> so I bought it, it was 200, about 280 dinara, it was an expensive goddamn toothpaste. And I was looking at the cheapest one, but I bought it. And so she was appreciated, appreciative of that. Go to the next aisle. Mind my own damn business. Two girls. And I said, I left my stuff in. I said, Nera zumum nishta. And then uh, they were doing some of those packets for, there's like lots of packets here that flavor meat and different things and what they was doing. Next freaking aisle was something else, a little meat thing. Everywhere, every aisle, they're bothering you with stuff, you know, and that's frustrating. But somebody said it's usually on Saturdays, and so don't go on Saturday because it's annoying. I don't like to be annoyed when I go somewhere. Also, I get to the front to check out, to buy this stuff that I bought, and I get to the front, and I was a little bit of a shoe puck when I got there. There's 15 registers almost, only two of them are working, same as everything else here in Serbia, same in the USA, they do the same goddamn thing. But, pardon my language, I'm using a lot of curse words here, unintentionally. God forgive me. But, uh, get, get in line, or pay, it was like 15, uh, 1,500 dinara, 1,500 dinara. I pay it, have a backpack on, the lady says blah blah blah, and points. And I said, what? Security comes over, and I was like, what the hell? And, uh, I said, nera zumum. And, then he said, I need to look in your backpack. And I said, are you kidding? I said, I'm a 40. You think I came in here and stole in a grocery store? And I threw it down there. I said, you can look in it whatever you want. And he said, you don't need to be rude. I said, well, what's the point? I said, what, what are you talking about? She thinks I stole something in your store. And he said, no, we have to do it or we get fired. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought he was accusing me of stealing something. Somebody said something. But I think that's shit that they just search your things, what they should do is put like one of those little stickers on it where it beeps, or make you leave your bag at the front somewhere, but they don't there, and then they have to search your stuff. And I think it's humiliating because people are watching and they're, I, I felt like a criminal, you know, so I apologize there at the end, you know, but still make you feel like a fucking criminal to deal with that bullshit. Anyway, my friends, good beer, good place. Mr. Weifert, love you, man, but I don't like your beer all that much. That's it, my friends. Pause the drive. Have a wonderful Sunday.